Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, My Project Ideas. In this tutorial, we will create a UI5 application with export to Excel from SAP.m table using JSON data. So let's get started by creating a project. SAP Fury application, we will create a freestyle application. You won't select any data source because we'll be using JSON data. Let's wait for the project to generate. The project has been generated. Let's run this project. We will select start no FLP. Application is successful. Now let's move on to the second step. That is, let's start creating our SAP M dot table. Let's give an ID to this table. table let's find items and keep it blank for now we start creating the columns before we move on to the columns let's add our JSON data so that we'll know what data we have and what columns we have to create. And on init, I will create a model. Before that, let's create a JSON data. I have a dummy JSON data already with me. I will copy paste this. So this is my dummy JSON data. It has ID, email, first name, last name, company, created at, and country. This is our JSON data. Let's create a G model. Allocator results array with J data in an object. So our J model is JSON model is created, and then we will this, and then we will set this model to the view. We will make this a default model as we don't have any other models in this project. Now that we have created a model, let's see the data. <clears throat> now that we have created the model, let's see the data. This is the data. We'll have email, first, last, company, country. Let's use this columns. So we'll have a column called Use first name. We'll copy this. We'll have total of five columns. We'll copy paste this five times. First name, last name, email, 
then we have company and then we have country company and then country we have a column headers now we'll create a writer We'll use the exact property name. This will be within quotes. We'll copy paste this five times. Make sure to map this correctly according to the headers. Now that our table is complete, let's complete the binding. We'll just have to write slash results. Let's see if our data is properly binded with the JSON data. So let's Let's see if our table is properly binded with the JSON data. Yes. So you see, first name, last name, email, company, country, all our data is completely binded. Let's move on to the next step that is creating a export to Excel button. To do that, we will create a header toolbar within the table. We'll create our flow toolbar. Content. We'll give a title to the table. Customers. Give it as level H2. And then let's have a Toolbar spaces and create a button. We'll give the button a text that would be export to Excel and we'll give it as an and we will and we will give it an icon. SAP icon. Excel attachment. Let's make this self closing tag so we know this. This also. Okay, let's refresh and check. So we have an export to Excel button. Next step would be to give it a function that exports this JSON data into an XLSX file. We'll start by giving a function to this button on export. Let's create this function. Now for export to Excel, we will need spreadsheet library. So let's import, we need two libraries from export, that would be SAP UI export library and SAP UI export, sorry, SAP UI export spreadsheet. Let's export, export it into the new space. Great. 
Okay, so we'll start writing the on export function. First thing that we need to have is the table. So we will write this uh, get view dot by ID. We'll use the ID of the table. Now that we have the table, we would need its binding. So binding is equal to for table dot get binding items. Now that we have our binding, we would need columns. To create these columns, we have to create a configuration or an array of the column headers. So let's first create that in a different function and then we'll use it here. So for now, I will comment this. And I will create another function call create columns. Okay, this will have an array, and this array we will push each column headers that would be. We'll give it. So these have each column headers have some properties like label property, and also we will give it as a type. Label would label would be the column header that is the first name. Property would be the exact property name. And type would be EDM type dot string we'll use here. This EDM type has to be declared, so we'll declare it here where EDM type is equal to port library dot EDM type. Okay, now that we have exported it. This is how we this is one column header. Let's copy and paste this five times as we have five headers. First name, last name would be this. Then we have email, company, country, email. company and then country we have email company and country be very careful with the property name it has to be exactly the same otherwise you won't see data now that we have pushed our five column headers in this array, we will return this array. Okay, and we will use it here. This dot create column. Now that we have our column, we will create the configuration for the spreadsheet. Let's use our setting variable name. Inside this, we'll have a workbook. This workbook will have columns, which is the column that we have created. And it will have a hierarchy level. We'll just give it as level. After this workbook, we'll have a data source. That would be the O binding that we have received from the table, this is the data source. And then finally, we'll have a file name. Let's give this file name as my project ideas. 
custom data. Once we have created the settings, we will create our sheet. New spreadsheet and give the settings inside. Please remember after this spreadsheet is built, means once the Excel is generated, you will have to destroy this function object because if you want to reuse it, you have to destroy it so that you can keep using it again and again. Otherwise, it would give you an error. This is how you destroy it. So once our sheet is built, after that, we just destroy the sheet so that again, we can use it. Let's check it out. So this is our table. Once I click on export to Excel, we see this pop up. And we click on save. We'll check this. Voila. So we have all our columns with all the data that was in the table. So this is great. Now let's close this. So friends, this is how you can create an export to Excel button for a JSON data binded in a UI5 SAP.m table. Thank you for watching everyone. See you next time.